What's up? What's up? What's up, you guys? What's up? How you doing, you guys? What's up? This is Kitty Boy Randy. What's going on, you guys? I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for being here. How you guys doing today? What's up? It's Kitty Boy Randy. I hope you're having a great, blessed, growing, and prosperous day. It's a beautiful Saturday morning here in Zone 7, Richmond, Virginia. And I just want to thank you so much for being here. You could be anywhere else in the Garden Universe, but you choose to spend a little time with Skinny Boy Randy, and I love you for it. If you're new to my channel, welcome to Gardening with Skinny Boy Randy, where beginners and experts are always welcome. We love having you guys here, okay? Okay, I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here. If you're new, click the like and subscribe button, you guys. Come on. You can do it. All it takes is to click that red button that says subscribe. I really, really appreciate it. Leave a thumbs up, thumbs down. Just not your two middle fingers, okay? Okay! Anyway, go on over and check out my Facebook group. Leave a comment here if you like. If I can't answer a question here on this YouTube channel, head on over to my Facebook group, Gardening with Skinny Boy Randy. Beginners and experts are welcome. Let them know I sent you over there from YouTube, and I guarantee you any question that you have, you'll get an answer right over there. I also have Instagram and Twitter. Check them out when you get a chance, okay? Okay! Thank you guys so much for being here how you doing i hope you're doing well thank you so much for being here thank you to all the shout out all the love and condolences and support you guys it is greatly greatly appreciated it really really helped me so much reading all the beautiful love and comments you guys are absolutely the best youtube group in the world i love you so much thank you for being here okay so today we're going to talk about harvesting your leafy greens now, if you're like me and you started growing when I started growing, and I know you did because you've been following Skinny Boy Randy, we ain't got time to be going backwards because we're going forward. Anybody got no money to be going backwards? We try to go forward and we try to eat and we try to eat right now. So if you've been following me and you've been growing or maybe you've been doing your own thing, you should have some leafy greens. Yeah, you probably already had some. But today we're going to talk about harvesting your leafy greens. And you might think, okay, just go out there, pull them up out the ground and eat them. No, you guys. This is a way that you can maximize your greens over and over and over and let them grow all winter long. Okay, and that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be growing all winter, 365 days this year. Okay, so I hope you guys stay tuned. We're going to be talking about uh, upcoming winter gardening, November gardening, greenhouse growing. Yes, we're going to break out the greenhouse, you guys. So stay tuned to the channel for all the updates. So when it comes to your leafy greens, you know they love the cool weather, as you can see. You can start them in containers or in the ground. Now these are some seeds I started in the ground on the uh, 16th of September. So, you know, they're not that old, you guys. A little 30 days maybe. And these are ready to harvest. You can make a great salad out of these. These are your butter crunch lettuce. And I just sprinkle seeds in there. I overplant so I can cut and come again. So, like I said, you don't want to just go yanking them out the ground because then they're over and done with and you want to keep eating these we ain't got no money to keep buying no more seeds okay and we're going to let some of this stuff go to seed so we can save our seeds okay okay so let's just dive right into it i'm going to sit the camera right here and i'm going to show you an easy way i just have a little bowl with a plastic bag and the reason i have the plastic bag is because we're going to do multiple uh uh leafy green harvesting harvest okay so we're going to start with the lettuce and i put this plastic bag in here so once i do this i'm going to leave the lettuce in this plastic bag then i'm going to take the green bowl go out into the garden and we're going to pick some greens okay so get your plant let me make sure y'all can see what's going on okay let me get you up a little bit higher that way you can look down at what i'm doing How's that? Is that better, you guys? I try to I try to do good with my camera, you know. All right. So what we're gonna do? You wanna look at your lettuce, and you see down in there, down in there. I call it the mother. She's like the crown. That's where the new babies keep coming out and keep coming out. You don't wanna bother that. You just literally wanna go across this, like so. And for the leafy greens, I'm just gonna use a regular pair of scissors. So you just want to gently pull your plant up like so till about right here and snip just to give you an idea of how much I snipped off. Okay. And you'll be able to see what's left as I go further over. Just like that. Straight across. Can you guys see what I'm doing? Straight across. And this is going to make a great salad. Just like that. 
See? And some of it's gotten bigger. Just take straight across, not hurting the crown down there. We just want to take these top pieces. You know how your salad looks in your bowl? Just like that. Oh, it smells so good, you guys. Wow. Hope you're having a great, growing, and blessed, prosperous day. And this will make a great salad for you and your family, okay? And that's all you do. Now, see, we have a whole bag of lettuce. Make a great salad. And we still leave all the mother crown. And this is going to come back and keep growing all winter long. Okay? Okay, cool. we ain't got no money to keep buying no lettuce. So now we're going to go out and pick some of our leafy greens. And then show you how to cook them. So we have turnips, we have mustards, and we have kale. So today I'm not going to separate. We're going to do them all together. We're going to make a pot of mixed greens. We're going to have Cousin Terry cook the greens, you guys. So let me just get you down in the ground real quick. And here are our mustard greens. And you want to do the same thing like you did with the lettuce. Just simply cut right there these little pieces off. See that? Cut these little pieces off. Yeah, you guys, we have food. This is food. We grow what we're going to eat. You know? Some people just grow anything. And that's fine. Because it's fun growing. It's always fun growing. But uh, I try to grow what I'm going to eat. And I love greens. And around Thanksgiving, you guys, we won't be going to the store buying any greens. We'll have our own. Let me get you a little closer. And I'm leaving the crown. See? New leaves will come out. So I just pretty much grab the tops like that. We even have some red mustard green, you guys. I know a lot of you guys were interested in the red mustard greens. They're doing well, and I'm just snipping off the bigger leaves. You don't want them to get super duper big. Because I like my leaves small and tender. Okay? Small and tender. Okay, now our turnip greens are right on the next row, right here. And these things, we had a windstorm come through with a whole bunch of rain and it just blew all this over, you guys. So I'm just gonna go through. And these actually have longer stems. So they're a little easier to cut because of that long stem, but we're still not disturbing the mother crown down in there. We're just taking off the tops. Just taking off the tops. Yeah, you guys, this reminds me of being in North Carolina in the country picking greens with my grandparents. Go out there and pick them turnip greens and them mustard greens and them collard greens so we can have some greens for dinner. But yeah, you guys, now look. See? Now when you cook these, they're gonna cook down. So you have to pick as many as you can. And I'm not gonna hold you guys that long. I just wanted to show you quickly how to harvest your leafy greens. Now you can do it any kind of way you like to do it. But this is just a simple and easy way to cut and come again. And you'll have lettuce and uh, greens growing you know, the rest of the year, pretty much. Okay, okay, I love you guys. You are absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for being here. You are absolutely the best. If you're new to my channel, don't forget, click like and subscribe. Ah, leave, click like and subscribe. Leave a thumbs up, thumbs down, just not the two middle fingers. Okay, okay, I love you guys. You are the best. Thank you so much for being here. Remember, live, love, laugh, you guys. Grow stuff and eat it.